my name is Davy J.Y. and thank you for watching Painting the Old Indian. And I'll be painting this old Indian with these paints. Vallejo paints. And I must say they're very nice paints indeed. And here is the old Indian, which is a bust, an, an ornament, okay, which has been lying around the house for 20 or 30 years. Now its base is a little bit rough there, as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing is filing that little bit of roughness away. I'm going to give it as smooth as possible. As I said, um, this bust was going to be thrown away, but I've confiscated it. Now as you can see here, I'm painting a coat of white acrylic on the, on the, the base of the bust. And I'm using Windsor & Newton Artist uh, Colours Titanium White. This is going on very smoothly, I must say. It's going to be given a full coat of white, the entire base. Right, so there's the old Indian again. Now I'm going to tickle his face here with uh, some more white acrylic. So I'm going to give the, the whole bust now an entire coat of white acrylic. Windsor & Newton Titanium White. Now once this is totally covered, I'll be able to see uh, all of the details a lot better. See where all the lumps and bumps are. Then I'll be able to plan out uh, a nice colour scheme for this old Indian. So there we go. The, the old Indian is nice and white now. A nice coat of white. And I can see a lot of detail there now. Thanks to the shadows. There he is. I think he's already looking a little bit better. Now I've mixed some red brown using more uh, Windsor & Newton artists colours acrylics and I've given him a base coat on the skin red brown base coat and now I'm using a gold brown and this is the Vallejo paints I'm using okay now this is one of my favorite uh, colors from the Vallejo paints now this is a, a first coat of the red brown on the Indian shirt. Now here you can see the bust has been given a, a couple of very dark washes, okay, black, a wash of black acrylic. Now it's dry and I'm giving it a nice dry brushing of grey all over the hair. So here's a second uh, coat of dry brushing with a little bit lighter and a third coat. There we go. So it's had about three coats of uh, grey acrylic paint. And now a second coat on the shirt with the gold brown. Vallejo paint. So this is going to be a finished coat here. So I've got to go very careful. Making sure not to make uh, any mistakes here. 
this is really a very nice colour. I absolutely love this gold brown. So there we go. Uh, that is dry and now I'm going to start work on the necklace, the beads. And there we have a green. This is uh, sticking with the Vallejo paints here. Some nice green beads. And now the red, get some red there. There we go. One of the primary colors there, red. And of course green is a secondary colour. And there's another primary colour, the blues. Just picking out a few random beads there. And dotting them with this lovely blue. So we're putting some highlights on here. A pink highlight on the red beads and a very light blue highlight on the blue beads. As you can see, I've decided to paint every single bead there a blue color. And now I'm gonna apply the red brown paint mixture to the skin. Now this is, I'm being a little bit more detailed here this is the first coat, so I'm picking out uh, various lumps and bumps on this Indian's head, face. So there we go, that's what he looks like so far, with that first skin colour on there. The first coat of red, brown. So I'm going to start to build up, layer up uh, the paint on the face and I'm going to apply a lighter shade, okay. Now what I'm trying to do is pick out um, wrinkles yeah and folds in the skin because this Indian is supposed to be I think he's supposed to be quite old so he's a wise old North American Indian so he's getting a, a few should I say or should I say several layers of paint there's his cheekbone now I'm really getting de detailed now looking for those wrinkles and highlighting uh, the lumps and bumps there so these wrinkles and, and rough patches of the skin really pop out so you can see this edge okay his forehead and not forgetting the chest area there there's a little bit of his chest showing now this is uh, even more highlights very light uh, color added to uh, various parts of the face the tip of the nose just on the tip there where the light is shining off the nose and on the very tips or surface of the wrinkles and this really does help to bring these wrinkles in the skin out they should pop out quite a lot more now so it's already had several coats of highlights there we go cheekbone the light is shining off the cheekbone all of those uh, wrinkles
Now this brush I'm using was a very old brush and I've actually shaved the hairs down so it's a very fine tipped brush now. It's great for fine details. Even more highlights are being applied on certain areas. The top of the lip, the edge of the lip there. There we go. A few lines here and there. Here we go again, a little bit more light shading on the chin, going over those wrinkles, there we go, there's a prominent uh, wrinkle on his cheekbone there, across his cheek, and now for the eyes, so this is white acrylic. And I'm going to fill in those eyes uh, with white. Now here I'm using one of my technical pens, my drawing pens, to fill in the um, pupil and iris. And I'm just going to dab a tiny little bit of titanium white into that pupil and that's the light reflection and I'm also going to do a little pattern work on the shirt and that's a very fine shirt he's wearing well as you can see the work is complete now I must say I thoroughly enjoyed painting this old ornament and I hope this wise old Indian likes his new look now as i said earlier this was a very old bust uh, ornament of a north american indian um my wife had a clear out and came across this bust it had been lying in a box for about 20 or 30 years now she was going to throw it out but i decided to confiscate it and give it a repaint. Now, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. But for now, I would like to say goodbye and take care.